and you can win a trailer worth £32,000, I think. Come on, there's Ollie. Come on, Ollie, out the road. So we're finally also getting finished the shed. Here's your robot planter. Morning, Holly. Here we are, we can. Good morning. Today I'm at the Highland Show, I'm having a look around the machinery, seeing a few people. Um, so here you go, here's some machinery. In an IE, IAE stand, we've got these curved doors. A lot of people put in systems like this if they're kind of on themselves handling cattle, because cattle like to go around a bend, or they keep moving around a bend, so. We need to figure out what we're doing at yard two for cattle. We need to put in a new system. So looking at things like this and looking at all the different ways you can move cattle, there's quite a lot to it. It's not just like the grain store we put up where it's you just need an empty space somewhere for the roof and sides. It's a lot more to think about to move cattle about. Let's have a look at this horse sprayer. Someone in the comments suggested or said they're really good. So I'll have a wee look. I'll go and ask some questions. Here's some different um, concrete bunker wall producers. What are they? CWP. So these are probably the equivalent of what we've got. I'm just coming to have a look to kind of compare them against the moor ones we've got. So there, so that'll be the same three meter high bunker wall. The moor ones are curved. They're kind of a straight edge there, but I quite like that indexing ridge actually to link them up. And how do you actually upright them? They must have pins on the other side. There you go, CWP. Moor get a really good name for the concrete panels, but that CWP, they don't look worse anyway. Look quite good, look well finished. Although they, they will have picked the best ones to bring to the show. <laughs> They'll have a few more that are a bit more scuffed and tatty, I'm sure. Just going into Scott Agger just now to talk about a forklift. As we've been hearing, it's like a two year lead time to get a forklift. So we're not even thinking about that. But if it's two years, we maybe should start thinking about it. I've just been speaking to them. End of December for a forklift. So we're not going to be ordering one this week. Um, but in the next couple of years, it'll be looked at. They're actually not as far away as I thought they would be. I thought they were a lot longer to get a forklift. But We've got a new cab on them. I saw them at a, a neighbour's farm. I went around one time and had a look. Here's your robot planter. These are actually, there's not that much hardware to them. So on purely hardware, shouldn't be that expensive, but I guess there's a lot of research and development costs involved in all that. Big solar panel on the top to run. There's two motors on each drive wheel back there. Um, and then each seed box has got an individual valve. Is that a stepper motor or something like that? Motor down there to control each valve. And then just running off a GPS. These won't come to us in terms of serials for a while. I imagine there'll be a lot of veg done with these machines. Not yet, but they'll start a veg and then eventually filter to cereals. And whether it can store battery in it, I assume it's got ability to store battery in there so it can run during the night, because obviously there's no sunlight during the night. Bedders, I think these ones hitch onto the forklift, do they? Yeah, you put a headstock on there, is that right? Quite interesting, once we sort out cattle facilities, um, once we get a few more cattle, maybe consider a bedder, but Maybe a smaller one that goes in the front of the forklift, not a big trailed one. You get a trailed one and you're using it every day to bed cattle, you then lose a tractor. So if it's one that yokes onto a forklift, really handy. 1.6 tonne that weighs, it'll throw straw 40 foot and we're going to get a demo of one of them. Right, where's my flipping tractor? <laughs> That's effectively what we're waiting for, but change the number to a 718, but similar size. Hopefully it'll be here next week. It's in transport, so maybe we'll get it next week. Fingers crossed. There we go, eight ton digger, that's what we're after, for sale. <laughs> well, I don't want to know the price of it. We've pulled the plug with the digger at the moment. There's Ollie Harrison's stand. There's your electric JCB. Be more for construction sites and whatnot. In about estates and whatnot and houses where they have to be quiet, I think that's probably quite popular. I've met the sheep game, Cammy again. Oh, we're on video. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you did this the last time. How's good. it still going like a fair, is it? <laughs> yeah, good morning, sheep fans. Good morning, Crawford fans. What a beautiful day we've got here at the Highlands show. Is this going in the vlog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Going in. Apparently saw some lovely... This, this will be going out on Friday, so if you're here Saturday, Sunday... Yeah. You, oh, so here? this is going out tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so quick with editing. I, I film something, then two months later I put it out. He's some boy. So if you want merchandise, he's, he's here Saturday, we are, Sunday. We've got the stand here just near the NSA tent, and Friday will be some shearing in the afternoon. If you're if you're sheep-minded, although if you're watching Crawford, you're probably about the big... You like the big gear, eh? We're not, we're not daft, you know. <laughs> Yeah, he's doing very well, isn't he, folks? He is. Leave in the comments. Not, bad, not, bad, like not as good as this guy. Give him some, hey, give him some kudos. The boy's doing very well. See Cheers, him on folks. Saturday and Sunday. Cowley Hill. Will's just arrived, but look at the camera he's got. Come on, bring that out. Oh, a big one. You can knock a cow out with that. <laughs> Shows your big one, Will. <laughs> Fantastic. That's well, give us a kid show. More oh, sheep. Yeah. I've told you about that. I've told you about it. But this, this is his wee one. Similar um, to what I use. 
Crawford's yeah. a phone man. Oh, really? I never. All phone. Man, no, we better go. Yeah, we better go. Yeah, yeah. 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 but actually, like, like the, the phone thing is good because it's just always in your pocket. Yeah, you're right. Ready yeah, ready to go. Ready to go. Ready. Kylie Hill, well, if you like sheep, I'm not a sheep man. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Subscribe. One of sheep. Nah, it's the sheep. That would have been a much easier house to move into. One bed. I presume there's a wee bathroom at the other end. Oh yeah, a wee bathroom at that end. Bed there, kitchen in the middle. It's quite a bit of skill in carving out those bears. There's unlimited amount of things you can see here. I'm gonna go in for a drink at the manager stand where we bought our wee forklift, the wee electric one. But so much stuff you can see here. If you've not come, this will be out on Friday, so you can come Saturday, Sunday. There's still tickets for Sunday, so come and see. Right, show's wrapping up. It's quieting down now. So cheers for watching the video. I've not gone around everything. There's unbelievable amounts of kit around here. If you've not been to the show, go to it. Saturday, Sunday, it's still on. Come and see what's kicking about. There's loads of kit, there's loads of stock. Um, I didn't actually get too far around the stock. But anyway, and anyone I saw today, cheers for watching the videos and cheers for um, coming up and saying hi. One last thing before I'm done, Stuart are actually doing a trailer in a raffle for charity. £30 a ticket and you can win a trailer. Worth £32,000 I think. Don't know which one it is of these. Possibly this one in the middle. I do love the two Stuart trailers we've got so I've actually bought a ticket. Maybe I'll win. Big steering axle on these, on this triaxle. Bale trailer with the hydraulic sides. Oh, there's too much shiny kit to look at, isn't there? Gives you too many ideas. There's the one that's for sale. For raffle, sorry. This one. There you go. Raffling that trailer off. Twin axle, 1823H. Oh, that'd be lovely. Right, back from show. I didn't mention uh, the last calf was born this morning. So my brother uh, was keeping an eye on the calves. And if there was any issues, I was going to fire up the road and get it sorted out. But no issues. Calves itself. Calf was up and away, no bother. So I didn't come back. So I'm just waiting to tag it, um, get its navel sprayed, and just have a wee check over, see how it's doing. But that's all, oh, I can see it right there. That's all the calves done and dusted. Calving complete. My gate lady's dressed well today. There it is, that's a wee cracker. I forgot to grab the tags and it's a wee bull calf, so I'll need to castrate it. And I've not got bands, but as long as I get its navel sprayed, I'll deal with all that tomorrow. Here's Percy the bull, coming out in a quad bike because the cow seems a wee bit twitchy. And I've not got a stick, I've not got anything, so I'm just going to do a wee drive by. There's the calf though, it's an absolutely lovely calf. Right, Percy, oi. Out the road, out the road. Shh. He's wanting to scratch. Come on, boy. Come on. Shh. There they go, cow and calf. Come on, there's Holly. Come on, Holly, out the road. 10 12 hours old that calf it's a lovely size of calf anyway i still not caught it with the navel spray yet i'm just a just slow down beast it's it's quick already for only the age of it you can tell the cow was licking the navel while i'm spraying it a nice orange nose anyway got the calf there and um, it's not gonna be the easiest to catch tomorrow to tag it but that's future crawford's issue um so we'll do that tomorrow also a couple of things kev's been picking up new spud boxes they're not to put spuds in they're for making walls they're for plants or for stuff like that no spuds update here so we're finally also getting finished the shed so where i'm standing right now to the entrance there is getting concreted up here so we can run grain from that shed down here we don't trail rubbish into that shed just going to finish off the yard tidy it up and that'll be it done you can see the line where it's going to right where i'm standing here Right on this line the concrete's going to come to so we're concreting right up to those walls in there i'll show you see the old pad the edge of it and um, so basically same as that six inch pad poured all the way down here right to the door but yeah we're concreting right in up against the shed you're basically then getting use of both sides of the bunker walls you can dump a pile of wood chip there push against there with a bucket load it into the hopper up the top say we're cutting wheat it's quite damp and the dryer's kind of struggling to cope and keep up with the with the amount we're producing sometimes that shed will fill up and we well once we've had to dump outside but again another bit to dump outside with a good wall to push against we've not really got anywhere outside with walls to push against so that's why we've chosen to go right up against this wall bit handy dump gravel against it dump anything against it push against it pick up drain's just been put in there so that's going to help so the concrete's going to finish there against those walls and run at a diagonal and to join onto the old pad so that's a kind of area that could build up with water. So that's going to be drained, runaway water under the concrete and out the other side as we ditch down there. 
So that's what's been happening when I've been away. Also, Kev's been out spraying. He's got a dumper on. He's obviously been shifting whatever's been coming out of here out the road. Nothing's come to a halt. Everything's been moving nice and smoothly. Me and Dad were both at the show today. Dad was speaking to Murray Machinery about a bag lifter for the forklift. So that's on the list. Also, I realised at the show, I was just going around saying, oh, there's a forklift. Let's get one of them. Let's get a bed out. Let's get this. Let's get that. But we're not actually going to get any of this bit in the short term. It's just long term plans. You've got to think a wee bit further ahead now with things that are happening. So the only thing that's definitely on our list is cattle handling facilities. We need to sort that a year too. And then a sprayer is the next big implement. We're not desperate for it. We're not getting it right now. That's just the next implement that's due to be replaced. It's kind of 11 year old sprayer behind a bit on technology. We want to kind of gain a few percent here and there in reduction in costs and overlaps with a bit of technology and things like that. So cheers for watching. If you enjoyed the footage of the show, you can still go. Um, I don't know, I think tickets are sold out on Saturday. Sunday you can get tickets for, you're watching this on Friday if I get this sorted out. So go and see it. There's loads going on, loads of livestock. I didn't actually see much of the livestock today. I um, should have done. I meant to get around more of the cattle things, but Cammy and Will are both kicking about sheep wise. So go and find them, hunt for them. And anyone, anyone I bumped into and said hi and they said they watched the videos, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. It's nice to see everyone as well. I'm not going to the show again for another day. I'm maybe like Saturday afternoon. I've got time, but I'm not planning on it. I've been away today. had a graduation day the other day, so there's things just need to caught up with. One day's plenty. Right, we're in the boozer. We're celebrating graduating. Anyway, if you've not subscribed, go and subscribe down there. Like down in that corner. Cheers to the boys. <laughs>